What's up, gang? How we doing? Oh, I'm excited to be here. Thanks for being here with me today. Oh, it's a beautiful Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday today. Let me go over here. Um, how we doing? I'm doing great. Um, I do want to mention before we start that my band uh, released re-released an EP that I did in 2022. I remixed and remastered it. Um, cause it's the first one I ever did. I ever produced on my own and I felt like I could do it a little better and that's what I released. So I updated that. So I'm really excited about that. That's really, really cool. I have more things planned for later in June that I'm really excited about. So just want to mention that off the top. Um, but let's get into Emerald here. So, uh, if you recall, we stopped right here in front of our boy Watson. And why is he standing in the town square of Marvel City? Well, let's talk to him. Oh, SCG, you look like you have a lot of zip. That's a good thing. Wahaha, I've decided I need a favor. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry your reception sucks, dude. Oh, I hate that. I'm sorry. Um, uh, you need a favor. Marvel City has an underground sector called New Marvel. SCG, I'd like you to go there and switch off the generator. The generator has been running a bit haywire. It's getting unsafe. Here, this is the key to get to New Marvel. Um, let's see. Don't you worry about it. It won't be a challenge to you. The entrance to New Marvel is just a short surf away. So once you get the ability to surf, Watson will give you the key to enter New Marvel. That's kind of what triggers him standing in the town square. Um, great. So now, we're gonna do that real quick. It is just a fun little side quest. Um, so if you remember this route over here, um, I'm going to do a repel. I think we still have, yeah, we still have a solid amount here. So, what we do to get to New Mauville is we pop down here. There's a little place where we can do a secret base if we want to. But here is the entrance to New Mauville. You wouldn't really ever see it, um, just kind of from the edge of Cycling Road there. Very like cold, like funeral procession music down here. <laughs> um, so this is kind of like a secret spot that Watson was working on kind of like I don't know like a second city they call it New Mauville um, and really the only thing in here there's some kind of like uh, door puzzles and you can find Voltorb and Electrode on the ground much like the power plant in generation one well let's see so blue switches ooh <laughs> too much water as two water specialists. You're not wrong, Brody. Um, really cool music in here. So now we got to hit that green switch. And that'll get rid of the green door. It's pretty simple that way. Uh, green switch equals green door. And some of these I know you have to click on. And some of them you don't. So good. There we have our escape rope. That's lovely. And the goal is to get to the generator at the end. Ooh, a magneton. I knew that you could find magnemite and Voltorb in here, but I did not know that you could find magneton. Um, can't escape. Hate to see that. Let's hope Blaine doesn't die. Um, let's see here. There we go. All right, I'll pop Grovile to the front. There we go. Perfect. So here, this might be a little surprise. Oh, no, it's not. It's an Ultra Ball. That is lovely. We'd love to see an Ultra Ball. Um, okay, so that leads to the end, I remember. So now we have to keep going. Um, New Mauville isn't, like, too crazy of a dungeon here. You just have to make your way through it. Ah, yes. And here is the first Voltorb of the of the place. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, <laughs> Pikachu is an obscure Pokemon. People don't know what it is. 
Oh, Magneton is the best special tank. You're not wrong, dude. I I love Magneton. I was actually kind of sad when they gave um, what you call it, Magneton an evolution. I never thought it needed one. Um, let's see. So I know. Yes, paralyzed heal. I'm pretty sure that's a fake switch under this one, so I feel like there's a Voltorb. And you know what? I might catch one just for the fun of it. Because I feel like... Did we catch an Electrode in our... Oh, yeah. I don't... Yeah, it didn't need one. I I'm with you, Tech. Did we catch an Electrode in Crystal in the Rocket Hideout? I don't remember. Do you guys remember? Um, ooh. Okay, that was a big five hit. That should help us catch this Voltorb, hopefully. Well, even if we didn't catch one in the, whatchamacallit, the rocket hideout in Crystal, I'm gonna try to catch a Voltorb here in New Ballville. There you have it. Just for fun. Just your fun. <laughs> Magneton was a gun, Magnazone is two guns. Alright, what's a nickname for Voltorb here? I don't think I'm gonna use I don't I don't think I'm, we're gonna use Voltorb, because I don't I don't really like Voltorb and Electrode that much. I mean they're really fast. I mean they they have they have their own utility. I don't hate them or anything. Um but let's see. I think I might call this Voltorb Magneton, because that is very funny to me. There we go. And that'll just be one of our nice PC Pokemon. And I believe the last... Uh, yes. We have got to hit... Um, I don't know why. I knew this was a Voltorb. I don't know why I felt the need that I had to run into it. Um, <laughs> I was like completing the the dungeon here. Full heal is wonderful. What is that? Okay, cool. Sorry, my phone was just buzzing. So, we have made it to the end of New Mauville. So here is the generator that Watson was talking about. Ooh, it should be turned off as soon as possible, so let's do it. Boop. <laughs> There we go, it stopped flashing, which is nice. And over here, for good measure, we have a Thunderstone. Lovely. Um, I'm actually going to use one of the that escape rope that we found. Oh yeah, we have nine, we got plenty. All right, so now we can go back and talk to Watson now that we've done his little fetch quest. Um, and we are really going to want to talk to Watson. Oh my gosh, this must be a pretty high level. I was about to say, level 30. Um, because we still have a super repel up. That's crazy. All right. So now, let's head back to Watson. And uh, we went on that little quest for a reason, because Watson has a really good reward for you. Wahaha, I knew it, SEG. I knew I'd made the right choice asking you. This is my thanks, a TM containing Thunderbolt. You've earned it. Yes, I sure have, buddy. That's a really good reward. Um, I am going to save the Thunderbolt TM for reasons I will reveal later. Um, so that's great. Worked our way through New Mauville. That was lovely. Um, a nice first step. Or a nice next step, I should say, in our journey. Um, but how's everybody doing today? I'm going to throw on my jacket because I'm feeling a little, feeling a little chilly. Um, I'm doing well. Um, as a... <laughs> he sure can, buddy. <laughs> um, today's a pretty chill, pretty chill day. Um, I went in and did a few auditions for like commercial stuff, um, which was fun. Uh, did some errands. It was good. And like I said, I'm just uh, trying to make myself productive during my time off, uh, do some things that I enjoy. I have been dealing with some of that music stuff that I was talking about, um, which is happy. Oh, thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. Uh, 
commercial stuff is so just like, so hit and miss, so, I don't know. It all just depends. It's very like look based. Um, I haven't booked very many commercials in my life. <laughs> A few here and there or like voiceover, voiceover things. Okay, but here, this is where we really open up the map and go to like the next area of Pokemon Emerald. So let's do it. Um, yeah, ideal look. It is what it is. Um, let's see. All right, so we're going to talk to this fella because he gives us a good rod. So that's fun. And you probably recognize the people over to our right here. They are the interviewers from last time. Um, I am going to let Blaine stay in. Um, because I'm probably going to swap him out um, when we first come out here. Because we've got that Magnemite to deal with. Alright. So let's bring in Guzzle. Because Guzzle's going to really be able to take care of some things. And I love Mud Slap on Magnemite. Mm. Our gal Guzzle has been the star of the last two gyms. If you have not watched up until this point, Guzzle using that curse combo really stuck it to uh, Flannery's, um, whatchamacallit, Flannery's Torkoal. And Guzzle also was great against um, Norman's slacking because it could just use protect alternate alternately um, during his non-truant turns. Let's see. Let's do that. Um, what is the difference between the old rod and the good rod? Um, one is good and one is old. Just kidding. Um, the good rod lets you catch better Pokemon at a higher level. In this game, you can only catch Magikarp and Tentacool with the old rod, um, with one exception. And... The good rod, you can catch, I believe, Carvana with the good rod, um, which we've seen, but we have not been able to encounter so far, which is nice. Uh, let's see, does she still, oh yeah, um, Guzzle does still have the, what should we call it, the Macho Brace. Um, and yes, the Carvana line's great. Fun fact about the Carvana, la Carvana line, Carvana and Sharpedo they don't learn any water moves by level up in this game, which is really weird. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'll give him another interview. A lot of times I don't like to do the interviews, but we're here, let's do it. Uh, let's do people. Um, how about, <laughs> dude, love it. Our answer is dude. Yes, Gabby, the perfect clincher. Um, okay, so here is... Oh, I thought this was going to be a heart scale. This is actually an iron. Um, we can give our iron to somebody. Um, I'll give it to Blaine, because Blaine's feeling pretty frail right now. And we'll fight this fella, this other fisherman. Um, so we are going to make our way into another one of these, like, legendary routes in Pokemon history. Um, the routes that kind of surround the next city that we're going to go to are both just so gorgeous and have some of the best music. Um, <laughs> Blaine Kittle. <laughs> He's gonna do his best, that's for sure. There we go. Love to see that. Hit through that confusion. Nice critical hit! Come on, Blaine! That's really annoying. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well. Let's see what we can do here. Ah, I hurt myself. That's alright. Fury attack was probably gonna miss or something anyway. Lovely. Oh, uh, Carvana. Let's just get Piccolo in here. Because Piccolo, yes, Piccolo is just a level away from learning his signature move. I think this game, Generation 3, 
is the first game that they really started giving starter Pokemon <laughs> to see if I still feel. That's funny, Tech. Um, so Generation 3, they are really the, it's really the first generation to start giving the starter Pokemon signature moves. That is something that happens a lot now, um, and I think it can get kind of silly. But, uh, but yeah, Grovile's actually going to learn um, his signature move next level, which I'm stoked about. Let's. I'm actually gonna pop back to Mauville to heal, um, just because I have that paralysis on Ron, and I find that annoying. <laughs> My Spotify just started playing. <laughs> I don't know what happened. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, let me just exit out of that really quick. Um, that was insane. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that really confused me for a second. Um, oh yeah, Torch Song, Aqua Step. Yeah, Brody, you're talking about the Gen 9 starters. Um... Let's see. <laughs> Turn that up! Yeah, I guess so. Um, oh, this is one of... I really like this little encounter. Hey, Steven! Hey, Steven, I know time can be deceiving. I don't know the words, but I love Taylor Swift. Okay. Hi, SCG! <laughs> it's me, Steven. We met in the cave near Duford. Have you met many kinds of Pokemon since I last saw you? So this guy is just talking about... Nothing really um, in particular. <laughs> Steven just shows up right there and he says, Hey dude, how's it going? Good to see you again. Um, I just really like that little encounter. But these are citrus berries. I kind of talked about that, I think, in one of the gym leader fights recently. Um, where, whatchamacallit, they heal more than an orange berry. An Orin Berry will heal 10 HP, but a Citrus Berry heals 30 HP. I believe in later gens, like now, it heals a percentage rather than an HP amount, so they're a little bit better. So let's see, Ziggy's got a Super Potion, love it. Yeah, you exclusively plant those in Lepa Berries. Lepa Berries in particular, I love. Um, I love to have handy. Um, all right, so we just have this this fellow, and then oh, double team. I hate double team. There we go. Still got a nice hit in though. Uh, that'll be better. Um, and once we get past this guy, we'll get into one of the best routes. Um, we'll keep Ron in for Swallow. We're gonna be able to wall Swallow pretty well defensively. Yeah, like that did absolutely nothing. I really want to see an attack raise, or an attack buff with Metal Claw if we're not missing. Metal Claw was one of my favorite moves when it was introduced. I just thought it was so sick. Um, I was kind of sad that it wasn't stronger. Um, let's see. <laughs> How do you get those items, Ziggy? Just finds them on the ground, or at least that's what he says. Um, all right. So we're through this fellow now. Him and his tailo and his swallow. Bird Keeper Chester. Um, there are some other battles down over there to the right. We can't continue that way. We have to go up. So I'm just going to start going up now. Ah. Here's the music, but here's the route. You have the tall grass. You have the rain. Mm. It's iconic, man. Um, so here, there is like a ring of trainers that needs more trumpet. Yeah, it's very trumpet, very trumpet heavy, very triumphant. Um, I also really like that it rains in this route. Um, this is actually one of my favorite spots to plant berries um, because, uh, this is annoying. 
<laughs> Tall grass, the rain, and a ziggy. That's how you know it's a good route, dude. All right. I really got to get Ron out of the front because he's so freaking slow. There we go. <laughs> oh, listen. Mm. Love it. And you get that rain sound. Lovely. Um, so there's a ring of trainers here. They're like the the mimic trio. They will sometimes move in the same direction that you move, and it's kind of hard to find them. They're all bug trainers. I'm not trying to fight any of them right now because there's something else that we're trying to do. Um, I am going to pop through this grass, and here is your perfect little spot here, Tech. It is a Lepa Berry and a Citrus Berry. They move the opposite direction. That sounds right. Um. Oh, I'm so glad we made it to this route. Mm. Oh, hello, English or Spanish? I speak English, um, <laughs> if that's what you're asking. Um, let's see, grab them berries, that's right. Um, I wish I spoke Spanish. I remember I tried to learn Spanish when I moved to LA. Uh, it just didn't work out. It just didn't stick very well. Um, because there were, I worked in a Mexican restaurant actually when I first got there. Um, I see he's got another item. Let's take that. Lovely. Um, and as you can imagine, working at a Mexican restaurant in Southern California, I worked with a lot of Mexican people. Um, but they were all just super nice and uh, were very patient with me as a non Spanish speaker. Um, but let's see here. We're gonna try to skip some of these trainers because we will, we'll come back to them. Where have I said that before? I've said that this entire playthrough. <laughs> um, but I think we might go ahead and fight these two. Get a nice double battle in here, I will save. Um, ah, you can do channel points and let your viewers get emotes. Um, I should look into that. I haven't really looked too much into that kind of thing since I've started, but I will definitely look into that, Brody. Um, <laughs> after the battle frontier, that's funny. Um, so we got a nice double battle here. The classic emerald setup. Got a bird keeper and a parasol lady. I think they have a pretty cool matchup here. A swallow and a goldie, that's fine. Um, let's see. I am actually going to double up on the good old Goldine over here because I don't know if it has any water moves that would wreck Ron's day. Oh, that is the exact perfect move I would like for it to use on Ron. <laughs> that probably did literally 1 HP. It is kind of annoying that you can't see the actual HP number in double battles like this. I think there is a way to check the number. I mean, you could always, like, check the summary on your Pokemon. Um, so we're gonna peck you, and we're gonna Metal Claw you. Um, if you really need to see the actual HP number, you can check the summary, but... Okay. Ah, yeah, because Blaine's got that iron! Got that iron in him now! Good defense. Swellow is just a nifty little Pokemon. It's just a... I love this sprite. Um, it just has so much personality to me. And also, I miss sprites in Pokemon. I know that that's kind of like a common opinion now. Um, I just felt like the sprites really, like the still image kind of allowed you to capture some personality in the Pokemon that some of the 3D models like miss. Um, oh, it gets Waterfall at like level 90 or something. That's funny. In gold, you're saying. Um, Alrighty. So those people are done. And I knew we could pop up a mock bike over here. I know that there is... Um, there are some trainers over there. There we go. And if I pop... You can't ride in the grass with your bike like this. So you have to get off your bike and go this way. So there's, there are those guys I was talking about. So if we get up here, we have these Team Aqua guys. They're blocking our way. And here is the Weather Institute. 
It seems like Team Aqua is up to no good in there. Let's see what the deal is. Ah, and there's the Team Aqua music. Um, there is a nice bed here, which is awesome. Super duper convenient. Because um, there are... I just accidentally healed twice. <laughs> there are a lot of trainers on this route. There's even a PC, which is awesome. Um, and we don't have to fight all of these trainers, but I will. Because um, these are trainers that'll go away. It's much like a gym, you know. Carvana Classic. <laughs> Oak found us an emerald. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Let's see. But let's see. I'm just going to go into Piccolo because that bullet seed is not going to get hit by the rough skin of Carvana. Let's see. Oh, wow. A nice critical hit one shot. Love to see it. Speed through that a little bit. Lovely. All right, and we have this fella up here. I figured you'd like to listen to me rather than the actual game music. I'm just kidding. But when I do speed through battles like this, I will sometimes turn off the music. Because it can be kind of annoying. Um... We're going to switch out, of course. We'll go into Ron. I believe Zubat can sometimes have the ability own tempo where it can't be confused, much like I talked about with um, Spinda. Poochiana, we'll just stay in with our boy. Stay in with our boy. There we go. Oops. Never mind. Blaine's coming out. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, you're right, Brody. <laughs> the thing stopping us is, is Oak. That's funny. Lovely. And I know Carvana and its evolved form can learn water moves like Surf, um, but it doesn't learn any by level up, which is just so crazy. Like, it'll learn Slash and it'll learn Crunch, because it's a dark type, um, as well as water. Uh, but it's just funny that it doesn't learn any actual water moves, and it's literally a fish. Literally a fish! And a lot of these Aqua Grunts, they have the same Poochinas and Zubats and whatnot. I am going to double up the Zubat because I don't want to get confused. Um, let's see. Awesome. Yes. Did it. Ah, Swagger. Lovely. Um, Swagger can be really interesting because I think we've talked about it a little bit before. It raises your attacks by two stages, but when you raise your attack and get hit by confusion, it'll actually do more damage to you. Um, so that's a real kind of like risk-reward proposition on the Pokemon using it. I really wish it would have roared out Blaine. That would have been super nice to get rid of that confusion. But no matter. We just keep hurting ourselves. It's all fine. Everything's great. We're having a lovely time here. Oh, wow. I just got swaggered twice. So now Guzzle is just a killing machine. <laughs> Her attack is up four stages. Um, perfect. There we go. If Guzzle attacks, it'll be an easy kill. But let's hope for that. Oh, baby. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I don't know who to hit, but I know I'm stronger. That's funny. Lovely. Guzzle is our first to level 29, actually. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, no, we have one more guy. Let's let Blaine take this one again. We got one more fella, and then we have that little admin there at the end. Um, you actually get a really cool reward for clearing the Weather Institute. I'm excited to show you. Ah, uh, excuse me. 
But I I think I remember saying as a child I always pronounced it Puccina. Um but it is definitely supposed to be a hyena. So I imagine it's Puccina. Right? Wouldn't you say? Um Zubat, we'll go back into Ron. <laughs> I always pronounced it Zubat. Especially because I I really stopped watching the anime. I watched a little bit of Generation 2, but really I only watched the Generation 1 anime. So there are a lot of like pronunciations that, excuse me, um, that I get from the anime. Uh, but for later Pokemon, I never really had that just because I didn't watch it. I always remember people would say Rattata, um, but I always said Rattata, or Rattata, because that's what they said in the anime. Um, Pucci, Pucciina. Yeah, sure. Um, what emulator do I use? I use, it's actually funny, um, I would usually use OpenEMU. Um, that's what I have used previously, and that's actually what I did use for um, yellow and crystal, but the one, the version that I have here on this computer, it was doing a thing where it was cutting out the music for Game Boy Advance games. So I actually downloaded Visual Boy Advance. Um, oh, Puchaina? Oh, whoa, really? That's crazy. Um, Puchaina. Ah, how about that? Um, Interesting. Um, but yeah, Brody, I, I have Visual Boy Advance um, for this right now. Um, let me heal really quick. Let's scoot back here. Um, and it was a little bit of an, an adjustment just because it works a little bit differently than um, Open EMU does. But that's all right. And we'll go ahead and save because I have anxiety. And then I'm actually gonna get Piccolo in the front because I don't remember what she starts with. It might be Mightyia. You're either absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both. You're so cute, you're disgusting. <laughs> I actually remember that line. I always found it very amusing. I'll put you down, kitty. Carvana. <laughs> you use a Game Boy Advance SP? That, I'm, I, dude, my Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Why all these girls baddies? <laughs> oh, you're so right. You're so right. Yeah, she's hot. Um, let's see. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yes, Game Boy Advance SP. Um, my Game Boy Advance SP was like my absolute prized possession in the entire world. Um, we're probably, we're gonna, we're gonna combo this. Um, yes, I think if we play our cards right. Ooh, this bad boy. I actually don't know if we've seen one yet. Uh, no, I think Maxi used one in our fight with him. Yeah, he did. Um, I really do like this Pokemon. It's just not very strong by the time you get to the end of the game. It's kind of, you know, it's like a Raticate or like a Furret or a Linoon, but it's a dark type of one of those things. I was about to say, were we about to get the triple flinch? <laughs> um, but again, Blaine with the Sing accuracy. Sing has an accuracy, I think, literally of like 55. So it does not hit often or it's not supposed to. Ooh, this is a fun time for me to try to use Fury Cutter. I never use Fury Cutter on Grovile. And it's super effective here, so this this could be fun. I could let it build up. Um, I always have Fury Cutter on my Grovile when I use it in a playthrough. You just, it just never makes any sense <laughs> to use just because it's really weak and there's not many Pokemon you can use it against. Um, oh, they're pretty cheap on Bayi, that's cool. Um, I still have my old one. Maybe I should get, maybe, uh, I should get a new one. Um, 
Because my old one has like the old school backlight. I remember there was like a second wave of them where they updated the backlight. All right, let's see if we can hit the Fury Cutter through our confusion. Alas. No such luck, gang. That's all right. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, good. Killed it anyway. Love to see it. <laughs> ah! I really want a Piccolo to learn his move. Mist! I don't care about Mist. No! Yes! Did not learn Mist. Blaine needs to learn a better move. Oh, actually, Blaine is about to learn a better move. Um, let's see. It's bad enough to have Team Magma blunder about, but now there's you! Ooh, what is this? We have a situation here. A Team Magma mob just passed the Weather Institute. They appear to be headed for Mount Pyre. Ooh, what even is Mount Pyre? We're gonna learn later. We're gonna learn later. So, this is the Weather Institute. So, this guy gives us a special Pokemon. It is Cast Form. Cast Form is a super cute, normal type Pokemon that can change um, with the weather conditions. It's really cool. I love it. It's cute. Everybody loves Cast Form. Um, so what am I gonna name our female Cast Form? Let's name her Batty. Speaking of baddies. Love to see it. <laughs> Squiggy? Oh, sorry. Dang it. <laughs> um, but you did technically give me Batty. You put it in my head. Um, so I think Team Aqua wanted to do something with the Weather Institute to, like, make it rain a lot. Um, I think that was kind of, like, their plan. They don't really say, or I wasn't really paying attention. Um, let's see. Oh, you can change the color? Oh, interesting. I did not know that. Um, oh, this music in the rain. All right, so here we are about, about to enter a battle. Um, I don't know what they start with, but I'm gonna save because I have anxiety. I feel like we're gonna be all right, though. So let's do it. <gasps> Our girl May is here! Yeah, you always fight your rival here. Um, like a filter. That's very interesting. Like, that's a game feature. It's not even like an emulator feature. I really didn't know that for this game? Interesting. Ah, Pelipper! This is actually what Wingle evolves into. Um, it's a really cool Pokemon. I really like Pelipper, but we're... I don't know if it has any water moves right now. Let's check. Didn't use one, use protect. Um, let's see. Rain continues to fall. Yeah, because its its water moves are gonna be... Yeah, try to go for the double. Does it have water gun right now? I know Wingle gets water gun really early, but I don't know if her Pelipper right now knows water gun. Or do you know for sure and you're telling me? It really just wants to use Protect right now for some reason. I cannot believe we hit the double Protect against Norman. That was awesome. Uh, more Mist. Um, ah, very cool. Ah, yeah, it just learns Water Gun early. Interesting. Well, it's, she's really not trying to use it now. Um, Supersonic. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that all day long if you're not going to try to hit me with a Water move. I do hate Supersonic in general, though. Um, one more takedown should hopefully do the trick. I know I'm, spe I'm speeding because I really expected some protect, some protect cheese here. Oh, Wing Attack! Yeah, it's all its moves: Miss, Supersonic, Protect, and Wing Attack. Well, there you go. So it does learn Water Gun early, but this Pelipper does not know it. For all you. Uh, challenge runners and speed runners out there more protect <laughs> stupid girl <laughs> yeah maybe it wasn't smart on her part you really want that water coverage there we go finally perfection love to see it all right combuskin this is very bad for our boy um we're gonna go into blame because Combuskin is still probably going to be able to mess him up a little bit. But we do have that super effective Peck, which could be nice against her fighting type Combuskin. I think I'm going to try to put it to sleep, as a matter of fact. 
Luckily, any fire moves are going to be... Oh, bulk up. That's real bad. That's real bad. Let's put this to sleep real quick. Come on. There we go. Um, if you recall, bulk up is the TM that we get from Brawly, the fighting type gym leader. And it's real good and real strong. Because it raises the attack and defense of the Pokemon that uses it. And it's making our pecs not even that great. But, excuse me, that's okay. We're going to speed through a little bit. To get through those rain animations. Ugh, oh, sand attack. I hate it. But we'll see if Blaine can hit through. Alright. Okay. Uh, bulk up that early, that cray cray. <laughs> it's true. All right. Uh, you know, I think I will swap into Ron right now because we'll probably get a double kick. And it's okay if we sacrifice Ron. That's okay. Because I really wanted a safe switch in into good old Guzzle. Because I know Guzzle can tank one double kick. I do not know if she can tank two. Um... So let's just do a body slam. Okay. Yeah, Guzzle would have been fine, but it's all right. Puts hair on your chest. Ron. Great. Perfect. And for her last Pokemon, her Lombre. I really want to use Piccolo. Um, that Macho Brace is coming in handy. Guzzle is a tank, to put it lightly. Ooh, I can use Fury Cutter again. Let's try it. I love it. Uh, if it's raining, will Nature Power be a water move? I don't think so. I think it only has to do with, like, your terrain, not what's happening in the sky. Yes, it has nothing to do with the sky. Only your terrain, because Swift is a real regular move. Because, again, like you see there, Fury Cutter doesn't get the same type of attack bonus, so it just isn't strong on Piccolo at all. Um, but I'm so excited that I've been able to use it twice in a row. <laughs> That's just fun for me. Um, all right, one more will do the trick. Uh, oh, don't critical hit me. Great. Oh, yeah, baby. The Fury Cutter strategy, but... Now Piccolo's about to get his best move. Level 29, trying to learn Leaf Blade, which is objectively a sick move, a sick name for a move even. We'll get rid of Bullet Seed. Mmm, it's like, it's basically grass type slash, which is awesome. Love it. And that is Grovile, his line's signature move, his Leaf Blade, which is amazing. There we go. Defeated Pokemon Trainer May. May really gets weaker as you get through the game. She's really good right there before Marvel City. Um, ooh, we also actually get another really great move for Blaine because she gives us the HM for Fly here, and that rocks. That rocks my butt off right there. Um, because we really need a better move for uh, Blaine. Oh, it's Scott! Hi, buddy! Ha ha ha, way to go, SCG. I just passed by a trainer riding a bike. You beat that trainer, didn't you? It was pretty obvious. The kid looked really upset with a face all red from anger. Ah, Fortree! Fortree City is actually the, the gym that's, like, right, uh, right up there. Um, let's go ahead and teach Fly to Blaine while we're at it. Um, the HMs are great because they never break. You can teach them as many times as you want, but they also are not as fun because you can't just erase them normally. I'm going to get rid of Astonished. It's a very niche move that we're never going to use. Let's see. We get Fly. That's wonderful. At least I don't think we can use Fly outside of battle yet, can we? Yeah, not yet. We have to get the Four Tree Gym Match, which is okay. Oh, our egg! Hooray! Ah, there he is! What a weird little guy! Oh, yes. 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's get a nickname for Why Not. Is Ick your nickname for Why Not Tech? <laughs> Do you not like Why Not? <laughs> That's funny. It is, it is pretty... Uh, name him because? Sure. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> Why not? Because. <laughs> it's funny. Um, all right, Dylan. I don't have time for you right now. We're about to do something cool. Fun fact, I always thought this bush was great for a secret base just because it's right outside of Fortree City here. We are gonna skip those trainers for now because I have my eyes on a very different prize right now. All right, let's get out of here. Great. Ah, there are some berries over there that we're probably going to want to grab. But I won't worry about that right this very second. Um, because you see that tree? I wonder if anyone's behind that tree. I wonder. Um, so here's Fortree City. And as you can see, you have these little tree houses. I love that noise. That little walking over the bridge noise. And it's a city full of tree houses. It's really cool. It's a really neat uh, little gimmick for a city. And it has a flying type gym, which is very apropos for living in the trees. Uh, let's see. <laughs> what? That's a totally normal tree. It's true. Um, so we got to heal the squad. Ron is dead right now, so we got to we gotta get him going. Um, but let's see here. I actually need to pop down here. I need to pick up some items. We're gonna buy, we actually can get hyper potions, which is great. We're gonna buy a few more super repels. Just 10 more of those. Pick up a few hyper potions, four of those. And I'll pick up some ultra balls while I'm at it. Just get nine. Just, just really go for it, you know? Um, all right. So, folks, I have been holding on to this plan for a while. Um, let me use a, whatchamacallit, a superpower right now. Um, I've been holding on to this plan for a while. And thank you for being patient with me as we continue to fill out our team. But in this game... There's a Pokemon called Feebas. And the way to catch Feebas is very particular. You see, Feebas is available on six tiles of this river. And that can change if you talk to someone in Duford Town, but we haven't, so it should be what it is. And you can only catch Feebas in, the, in six tiles of this river. So what we have to do is fish on every tile of this river to find our prize, to find our Feebas, because we're gonna use a Feebas in this playthrough. It is something I have never done. I am really excited to try it. It's going to be brutal. It's gonna be a long, a long search, a long hunt, but I am up to the task. Are you? Let's do it. Okay. So what we need to do, again, is search every, is search every tile. Um, and usually what we're gonna try to do is, we're gonna use the old rod because you can find, oh, I guess I can't use it right here. Let me actually register this. There we go. Um, oh no, audio. That's stupid. I want there to be audio. Is it back? It should be. Okay, good. Um, all right, so let's see. Oh, yes, I don't need to do that. We're going to try to use the good rod. And we have not fished in this game yet. Um, what I'm going to try to do is try to get, like, six encounters um, or so at each tile. Because that will really give us 
uh, an indication on if we can find Feebas on that tile or not. Um, so that's one. And I'm going to go ahead, I mean, Ron will probably be fine, but I'll do Piccolo just to make sure that we can run away. Um, I know, dude, it is the definition of I hate my life, but I am really, really interested in trying to do it. I have done a Feebas in Platinum before, um, because there's a slightly less punishing area where you can find one, um... But uh, I have never done a Feebass in this game before. And I really am excited to show it off on stream. Just, just, just to show what the deal is, you know? Um, and now that we've gotten to Four Tree City, n now is the time. Oh yes, and regarding the old rod, the reason that I'm using the old rod is one, every time you do this, you have to hit A right when it says there's a bite or the Pokemon can get away. For um, Super Rod and such, for Good Rod and Super Rod, you have to do that more than once. For Old Rod, you only have to do it once to catch your Pokemon. Also, um, if we fish with a Good Rod, there are three Pokemon besides Feebass that we can find. Um, but with an old rod, there is only there are only two Pokemon that we can find besides Feebas. Um and that just, you know, increases our chances of being able to find one. And as you can see, the levels of these Pokemon are very low, like they're like five to ten, I think. Um but so now, next tile. <laughs> Let's do it! Uh, uh, cause I, my, yeah, six, six encounters should do it. Um, and, there we go. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yes, when you find the tile, um, that Feebass is in, you can actually, there's actually a 50% chance that you will encounter Feebas. Um, so that's not what I wanted. Not that either. Um, yeah, there's a 50% chance you can encounter Feebas once you find the correct, one of the correct tiles. Um, and from there, you can just keep fishing and fishing and fishing. Um, and I actually need to find a Feebas with one of like four natures. So if I do um, end up finding the Feebas tile, I will definitely be catching like a good amount of them, which is why, um, which is why I want to make sure that I want to catch a, a lot so I can make sure I find the right nature. Um, <laughs> the only time you've used Feebas in this game. Oh wow. So you found one by chance. That's crazy. Um, that is so crazy. Because, dude, again, the chances of finding Feebas is low. Like, to find one by chance is crazy low. I've actually lost count of how many encounters we've had on this tile. Um, I think the next one will be six. Or that one might have been six. Either way, that's fine. Because I want to make I want to make sure that Feebas isn't on a tile before I move on. Okay. Um. Because. All right. Next one. Uh, because, like I said, it's a fifty percent encounter rate when you um, are looking for Feebas. So if you do six encounters, you are almost um, almost guaranteed to find one if you do that many. You, statistically, you should find three in six encounters, but you know, percentages aren't perfect like that often. All right, so that's two. Oh, I was also saying regarding the good rod, 
um, how the levels of the Pokemon are like five to ten, um, and how that's not like ideal, honestly. But apparently, now I don't know this for certain. Um, but apparently, any time you catch a Feebas with any of the rods, good rod, old rod, whatever, it will be level 20 to 25. Um, at least... At least that's what I've been told on the internet. <laughs> um, so I really hope that's true. Um, oh yeah, when I take into account you've been playing Pokemon for 24 years, it's not that crazy. I guess you're right. I mean, I've been playing Pokemon for... Yeah, I mean, about that amount of time. I think we're probably about the same age, Tech. Um, I'm 31, for what for whatever that's worth. Um, there we go. So this should be our last encounter for this tile. Great. It is a map. You're 29. Perfect. Yeah, so we're, we're close. Um, let's see. Oops. <laughs> Uh, we don't have to do conte contests, Brody, but we will have to make Pokeblocks. Um, not only is Feebass a pain in the Feebass to find, <laughs> you also have to feed it a lot of Pokeblocks to evolve it, which is very annoying. Um, you have to max out its beauty stat, basically. So Feebass is basically a really ugly fish. Um, but it evolves into a really beautiful, like, sea serpent Pokemon. It's a really cool Pokemon. Um, it actually has a really nice kind of, like, boss encounter in Pokemon Snap. Um, but, uh, so yeah, you have to max out its beauty stat. Um, and then once you level it up, it will evolve. Oh, actually, I don't think I've really described this much. Um, yeah, if you go to condition here, here it will say, tough, cool, beauty, cute, smart. These are like the contest stats um, that your Pokemon use when they are in Pokemon contests, which is not something that we have done. Because um, I think the only place you can do them in this game is Lily Cove City, which is further on. Uh, excuse me. So what we need to do is feed our Feebas these, uh, this little bit of Pokemon food called Pokeblocks, um, and that will increase its beauty stat. And once that beauty stat is all the way maxed, um, once you level it up, it will evolve into Milotic, um, which is a gorgeous Pokemon. Um, <laughs> the person who made the Feebas evolution is effed up, dude. You're telling me. Uh, because they actually changed the way Feebas evolves in later games. I think... Because I know in later games there are, like, other types of Pokemon food that you use that aren't called Pokeblocks. Um, but... I, I think now if you just trade it with a Marvel scale, I'm pretty sure that's what evolves Feebas now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Melodic. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, uh, okay. I think we want to catch... Like, Melodic. Oh, that's true. Um, okay. It's a trade evo? Yeah, that's what I thought. Perfection. Alright, so I think we want to try to get one or two more here on this tile, just to be sure. And I try not to speed through the dot, dot, dots because you could... Because you never know when that oh, a bite is going to pop up. It can change. Um, so it's kind of hard to speed through that portion of it. Um, let's see. So really, my plan, guys, is I am going to... Oops, sorry. Um, like Brody was saying, we could do a whole stream of this. Um... And I probably won't try to do too much for the rest of this stream, but I can at least get through this kind of like first block of tiles here. Right here in front of the waterfall. Now, there are some tiles 
up above the waterfall um, that we cannot access yet um, because we don't have the HM for waterfall. But there is so much more of the river below the waterfall than above it, um, it's very unlikely that all six tiles are above in the above area of the waterfall. Very, very unlikely. Um, but I mean, I guess it could be. And if we if we fish this whole river and we find nothing, then we'll know that it is above the waterfall. <laughs> all six are up there. Hey, I mean, you never know. It just, it, it doesn't seem likely. It doesn't seem likely. I think I want to try to find three more here. There we go. There's one. I know I'm doing a lot of uh, talking and not doing as much counting. And six might be overkill. I don't know if I need to do six um, encounters for each tile. Maybe I'll see if there's like an optimal number. Because again, I don't want to waste too much of my time fishing. <laughs> there we go. We'll get a shiny before Feebas, yeah. I mean, it is better to be safe. You're definitely right about that. Um, oh, and if we, uh, I do kind of hope we find a shiny. That would be really cool. Uh, maybe we can find a shiny Magikarp or something and get a, get a red Gyarados in Gen 3. That's not something I've ever had. Um, and, you know, what I think I might do is there's a chance, like, let's say the next time we stream this game, we literally look for Feebas for the entire stream and still can't find it. I might, you know, try to find it off stream. Because I don't want to subject you guys to complete and utter torture just because I want to use a fee bass. Um, but it would be nice to find it on stream. So I will definitely give you'd watch. <laughs> I mean, Hey, that's good to know. Um, I do want to give it like a real effort, um, trying to find it on stream because that would be great. Um, all right, I believe that's three. <laughs> All the people who say they got a shiny just got the red dose. Yeah, honestly, as far as the old games go, I have not found many shinies at all. Um, other than, you know, like the red Gyarados. In some of the newer games, it's a lot easier to find. Like Ar Legends Arceus, they're way easier to find. Um, I remember in Scarlet and Violet, I found a shiny Masquerain in the great crater of Paldea toward the end of the game, which was super sick. Um, but, uh, yeah, I believe my first true shiny um, was just a rat attack. It was right outside of, Ava of Azalea Town um, in Pokemon Silver. Um, it was great. I loved it. Um, all right. It is raining. All right, folks. For good measure, we'll fish one more time on this tile. And then we'll probably call it because that's like a really good section that I know is done. <laughs> that that first little square. Um, oh, yours was Butterfree? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, a Minchino. That's cool. Um, all right, so Feebass isn't there. Um... All right, folks. Well, the great fee bass hunt will continue. I'm thinking this week we'll probably... There's a possibility we go tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure. Could be tomorrow. Could be like Saturday night. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but for all you people watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Go ahead and like it. You can subscribe if you'd like. That would be lovely. Um... What else? 
thank you guys for being here tonight. Um, I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate you supporting me in this uh, crazy, impossible endeavor of finding a Feebass. I'm really excited about it. Um, but other than that, y'all have yourself a lovely night, a lovely rest of your week. See you guys later. Peace.